So what defines the grip? What defines the grip is when you make ball contact, you want to be able to have a vertical racket face for the top spin shots at contact. With a top spin forehand, for example, you make contact out in front with the racket rising, and you want a vertical racket face. That means that if you have uh, a ball bouncing on a hard court, for example, you're going to probably make ball contact roughly this height, somewhere in here. That means that if you want to hit out in front, you need to reach out with a relaxed hand, not torque your hand one or the other, but just reach out with a relaxed hand. And as a result, you will find out that here's what you have. You have the index finger base knuckle on the bevel that's coincident with the racket face. Now, what bevel is that? That's bevel three. How do you define that? Well, the bevel's on the racket. If you look from the end, from the butt cap, you see that the bevel that's on top, that's coincident with the racket edge, that's bevel one. See, this looks like the number one, right? So bevel one. For right-handers, you count around to the right. So that's bevel one, bevel two, bevel three, bevel four, bevel five. Your left-handed, opposite. Bevel one, bevel two, bevel three, bevel four, bevel five. You can keep going six, seven, eight, but really, those are the main bevels. You mostly talk about bevels one through four. Bevel five is for Western forehand, which not very many people use, so it's not, you know, it's not really that important to uh, know about that.